Fox 2 News starts now. Good morning to you. I'm Cam Carmen. And I'm Alan Lee. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Paris Mexican Town is the place to be for Cinco de Mayo. The crowds can expect traditional live music to fill the air. And restaurants also have a variety of events planned for today's festivities. One place with big flair for traditional food is Detroit's very own Hacienda Mexican Foods. The local company makes all sorts of goodies from chips to tostadas and all made right here in Michigan. We'll get a taste of the business and the food later in the newscast. We are celebrating Cinco de Mayo with a taste of Michigan. You'll see what it really takes to bring the Mexican fiesta to your table. It's all made in Michigan next. Well, Cinco de Mayo is a time to celebrate Mexico's heritage. It's also a time to pay tribute to the foods we love the most. And a couple of those favorites are made right here in Michigan. You don't have to go south of the border to munch on these Mexican favorites. Hacienda Mexican Foods, based in Detroit's southwest side, brings authentic flavors to any fiesta. Lydia Gutierrez is the brainchild behind this thriving company. Some call her the tortilla queen. Hola y bienvenidos a Hacienda Mexican Foods. We're a local tortilla and tortilla chip manufacturer. Where I have a tour for you today. Come on, follow me. Gutierrez takes us behind the scenes where a mammoth tank of corn first gets cooked in a special bath. A paddle is used to stir the batch. The blue corn uh, gets cooked the day before, gets steeped, and then it's ready for processing the very next day. After a rinse and wash, the kernels get crushed until they turn into a flour-like substance. It's very doughy, kind of like a red dough almost. So-called dough takes shape into tortilla chips, then it's off to the presses and ready for baking. The tortilla chips have now gone through the baking cycle. It's a three-tier baking oven, and now they're cooling down before they go into the fryer. Once the batch is out of the fryer, the chips get a coat of special seasonings, then cool off. But before it gets back, a chip inspector makes sure every bite is the perfect blend. So just checking to make sure that all the tortilla chips are pretty much, uh, there's not uh, any burnt tortilla chips or any unshaped. Chips. The chips aren't the only ingredients that make up Hacienda Foods. This company also makes homemade taco shells, tostadas, pita chips, and other crunchy goodies. And it's all made right here in Michigan. Being local is really, um, really important. And uh, it just, you know, I mean, in anything that we do, we're always looking to, uh, to do things in a local way. So it's very important. Well, Hacienda Foods caters mostly to restaurants, but that'll soon change. The company hopes to start selling an expanded line of its products later this year. And we have been eating these. These are my favorite so far. What are these? Those? These are sugar and cinnamon covered oh. tortillas. This is a serving size is two chips. I, I don't. I don't believe that. Right. But uh, try oh, them. Yes, I'll have some we've, of those, please. We've eaten yeah, quite we've a few of these. Want one? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Sure, they're yeah, really good. Yeah, I've already though. had enough. Today. Oh yeah, you've had your famous Amos cookies. Yeah. These are much better though. I bet. Mmm. They are. Good stuff. Back home, we call these sopapillas, but they're not. Okay. Yeah, they're. Huh. Uh, I just call them sugar covered chips. <laughs> good. We just call them good. <laughs> now, do you make tacos and things like that at home? Or? No. Yeah. No. I can't. I can't ever make them as good as the restaurant. I know. No. Mm -hmm. no. Wow. Think of use lard. I think that. I think <laughs> lard is the key. <laughs> yeah, to use All right. lard. Sounds gross. Tastes great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Thanks, dude. No problem. <laughs>